Japanese people are considered to be some of the politest people in the world. But they are definitely not as polite as you think. In America, if someone needs help, you say, Don't worry, I'm here to help you. But in Japan, we say, <laughs> In 2016, the Tokyo Good Manners Project took a survey asking what people thought of Japanese people's manners in Tokyo. 70% of foreigners said Tokyo White had good manners. But when they gave Japanese people the same survey, only 24% agreed. So, does that mean everyone in Japan are rude? Not at all. Most people I see in my daily life are super polite, kind, and helpful. But there are a small minority of people who don't care about the rules or you know, they don't care how their behavior affects people. So, as you are watching this video, please keep in mind that these are not majorly, but the very few Japanese people who are just being rude. I've talked about how clean and amazing public restrooms in Japan are in previous videos. So it always shocks me that some people think peeing outside is okay. And if any of you hentais out there are thinking, <laughs> free show, <laughs> then I'm sorry to say that it's mostly all drunk guys doing public pee pee. But if you are true hentai, you would tell him. So just be careful when you walk by a bush somewhere because there's a good chance that some oji chan watered it himself. Of course, most normal Japanese people do not do this. But if you stay here longer, you'll see some sneaky old man taking a leak on the street. If it's an emergency and you're in the middle of forest and there is no bathroom, I can understand. But the problem is, these guys do it in the middle of the city when they're a public restroom with just a few minutes walk. And if you think I'm joking, then you might be surprised to see signs like this. Public tinkling is illegal in Japan, and if you are caught, you will be punished. In 2015, a man was fined 9,900 yen for public peeing in a parking lot. He tried to argue with the court that he was innocent. Because of the wording of the law, it states that it's banned on roads, in parks, or other public gathering places. But the court said that the parking lot is a place where people can walk, so it's basically like a road. Imagine trying to argue your innocence after being caught peeing in public. Oh, oh yeah, オーロラの光。オーロラの光だと。この季節、この時間、アメリカのこんな場所でそれも民家の台所でオーロラだと。そう。見ていいか。ダメ。おお、あいや。A couple of days ago, I actually saw a guy being in somebody else's parking lot. So, it's not so uncommon to see, you know, person being in public. Unfortunately, I really don't understand why they do this. Most Japanese public restrooms are super nice. We have high tech toilets, no gap doors in the stall, so no one can see your weenie. And in some places, you can find a gamer urinal that we talked about in a previous video, when you can literally play video games with your pee. I don't understand why anyone would want to be on the side of the road. Japan is world famous for their amazing customer service. So many people love just how helpful, friendly, and quick the staff are at shops and restaurants. It was so normal for me, but I was completely shocked how slow American cashiers were. Very slowly pick up. Pick, but put it in, it's very fast. Because Japanese high quality customer service is so normal for us, you might see some people who treat them rudely, even though the staff are doing their best. Of course, it's not everyone who does this, but unfortunately, I've seen customers who are being jerk while, you know, shop staff are doing their best. 
Of course, this kind of encounter is rare to see. But I thought this Twitter thread was pretty interesting. ちょっと愚痴。私、レジ打ちの仕事をしてるんだけどさ、態度悪い客があまりに多い。なんていうかもう人としてアウトな客が本当に多い。日本人は礼儀正しいは嘘だって接客してるとよくわかる。客の3、4割が態度悪いのはさすがにストレスたまる。もう義務教育で人との接し方を学ばせないとやばいと思う。終始無言で威圧的で、お釣りやレシートを奪うように取って去っていく客が多くて本当にびっくりする。店員って人間だよ。日本人の民度ってこここまで低いのかよって日々げんなりしてる This tweet was well received and a lot of people agreed with her So it's pretty normal in Japan not to acknowledge the shop clerk But it's important to remember that they are just a normal person doing their job But a bigger problem is people who actually attack the train staff The other day, Mr. Eat was surprised to see this sign on the train. It says that attacking train attendants is a crime. You might be surprised to see this, but it actually shows how often it happens in Japan. Usually, it's a drunk guy or some jerk who gets too rowdy with the train stuff. In 2013, a 34 year old dirty unemployed hentai was trying to pass through the ticket gates without paying. When a 21 year old female train staff asked him to buy a ticket, He punched her repeatedly in the face. But what this dirty henta didn't know was she was the master of the deadly martial art. Maximum penetration! No, not that deadly. <laughs> She was a skilled judo player and she was able to throw the hentai onto the ground and he was arrested. I think because train staff and shopkeepers have to be over the top quite with customers, if an argument or fight breaks out, it's the staff job to defuse the situation no matter how unreasonable the customer is being. It might be because of this that some bad people think it's okay to boss the staff around or even hit them. But what these bakas forget is, That you never know which Japanese person is skilled enough to throw you onto the ground. Japan is a very clean country. Many visitors are so surprised how spotless the streets are, even though public garbage cans are almost impossible to find. Of course, nearly all Japanese people try to do their best to clean up after themselves. But there are some people who just don't care about littering in a public place. Just like any country in the world, you'd find some garbage laying around. Of course, Japan is pretty clean, but if you look hard enough, you'll find some cans, bottles, or even instant ramen cups on the ground. It might not be as littered as other countries, but it's still unacceptable. But the worst is when people litter on somebody else's properties. In residential neighborhoods, you can find houses built on a big stone foundation like this. There are holes in it for rainwater to drain out. But there were a few times that I saw a garbage put inside. Of course, it's not super common, but it does happen. Maybe some naughty kids try to do some crazy stuff. Either way, it's not a very nice thing to do. I was really surprised when Mr. Eats told me some people threw their garbage into Mr. Eats' bicycle basket. In the town he used to live in, they held big festivals a few times a year, and everyone in the nearby towns came to see them. When he parked his bike along the festival route, he always found other people's garbage in it when he came back. People threw their used bottles and street food containers in there. It happened so often that Mr. Eats stopped parking his bicycle in that area during festivals. Of course, this is a special case, and you almost never find garbage in your bike basket in your daily life. So, what do we do when we are out and about and need to throw away some garbage? Well, since there's no public trash cans, some people will bring it to a convenience store and throw it away in their trash can. But actually, in some places, It isn't considered to be a very good manner. s Some convenience stores even put a sign outside s a i d Do not throw away your outside garbage into our trash can. So, the most respectful thing you can do is bring your garbage home and throw it away in your own trash can. It might sound a little strange, but actually, a lot of Japanese people do it, even if it's a pain in the butt. But by doing this, we can keep the social harmony. 
which is the one of the most important thing in Japanese society. One super rude thing that anyone could do it to you in the world is steal your data. Yes, even in Japan, your data isn't safe. In fact, Mr. Eats account got hacked and someone released his private photos and video. These were supposed to be for my eyes only. So I told Surfshark VPN our story and they agreed to sponsor our video. Surfshark is a virtual private network that keeps your data safe with encryption between your device and internet. It covers your tracks way better than the shirt that covers Mr. Eats very. So when cyber hentai trying to see what I'm doing or trying to steal my information, I'm fully protected with surf shock. And whenever I'm outside of Japan, I can just change my location with one click and get access to all my favorite Japan-only shows on streaming sites. That will show those corporate hentai who try to keep me away from my favorite animes, like Curry in the House. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so it's totally risk-free to try. Use code MISSITSEATS for 83% off, and you'll get extra 3 months for free. Click the link below to get started, and thank you Surfshark for keeping our uncensored kanji videos safe. Silence is golden, especially in Japan. Even on a super crowded train, it's as quiet as a library. Of course, there are some places where it can get really loud, like a crowded bar, concert, etc. But even places you'd think people would be a little noisy, but they aren't. If you go to a Japanese movie theater, you might be surprised at how quiet it is. During funny parts of a movie, the audience would try to laugh quietly. Even when they eat snacks, they try to eat it very quietly. I was very surprised when Mr. Eats told me that whole crowd laugh or cheer at the movies in America. Maybe that's why I was embarrassed by Mr. Eats, because he was so loud when we went to watch Demon Slayer movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned how quiet the trains are in Japan, and that's because it's such a small, crowded space, so it's easy to irritate others with loud noises. There's even signs asking people to be careful of how loud their headphone volume is. But there are some people who don't care at all. One time, Mr. Eats saw a drunk guy on a train, singing out loud, asking people around him to sing with him. I know in some countries this isn't a big deal. And even in New York, inside a train can look like a big party. But in Japan, these kind of things are very rude. And one of the rudest and noisiest group of people in Japan are the biker gangs. They are called bosozoku in Japanese. And they drive scooters and motorcycles with modified mufflers that are super loud. <laughs> They usually like to drive around at night, revving the engines together, making a lot of noise. It's so loud, it sounds like you're at a car racing event or something. And because the walls in Japanese homes are so thin and uninsulated, it's even worse. I'm not sure why they do this, but no matter where you live in Japan, you probably see those group of people making tons of noise. So, when you are in Japan, it's super important to be mindful of your noise that you are making because it could make other people very uncomfortable. But did you know there are things that some foreigners do unintentionally that make some Japanese people feel uncomfortable? I talk about it in this video here, so make sure to check it out! Thanks for watching! Okini!